Okay, this is the phone. I'm coming to replace the battery. Okay, uh, the first thing you have to do, you have to put out the heat machine at least for 10 to 15 minutes because this one is a glass, so you don't break the glass. You have to heat it small a bit. Okay, if you don't have data at home, just put the water inside the pot and make sure the water is boiled on the gas that you just put pan on top. Then you can put the phone on top like this. At least you can heat this one a bit because this one needs to get hot a bit so you don't break the glass. Okay, I already heat my own, it makes it more easy for you to open it. Okay, like after you hit it, just put the pencil like this. If you have a pencil, just put the pencil like this, like down a bit. Make a way for the rubber one. Don't use this one to open it full so you don't break the bag glass. So after you open it like this, use a rubber like this, something soft. Just put it like this inside here. Remove the pencil. Okay, you try to open it, slide it right down. Okay. Make sure you hit it a bit so you don't spoil the, the glass. Okay. Open it like this right down. Okay. Be careful. Just remove the back cover, put it one side, okay? There are so many screws you need to lose. You don't need to lose the screw down here, okay? Just lose the one on top here and take out this cover on top here, okay? So you take out all the screw from the top. So many screws. Make sure you move one at the top here, all the screws. Okay, after you move all the screw at the top there, Okay, now you remove the fingerprint, disconnect the connector from this side, the fingerprints, okay, you remove it, put it one side, okay, now you need to take out this cover, then you remove the magnet charger, this sense, this plastic, just put a pencil like this, slide it down, remove the magnet charger with the cover one side, okay, then you take out this cover on top here, just try to open it, be careful you don't spoil anything, you take it out like this, Okay, you disconnect the battery. This is the battery cable, you disconnect it from this side. Okay, now you need to remove the battery. Okay, so remove the battery. You don't need to use something like this. You have to find something that is not that sharp, like a pencil, something bigger like this. Okay, so open the battery down. You just try to ease the battery up. Do it slowly. Okay, but no need for you to scale because you are coming to replace a new battery. So just try to remove it. Okay, the glue is a bit hard, but just try to open it. Okay. You take out the battery okay so now it's time to fix the new battery you have to get a double tape like this okay if you don't have a double tape you can still use the glue you have okay just cut a bit one here so that the battery can uh, rest properly just put it at the corner like this on like this okay then take another one here put it at the corner here also like this okay then you take out the the paper on top remove the paper on top like this take out this paper also if you have a how they call it the glue also you can use the glue if you have the double tape like this okay but well, it's good to use a double tape so the battery can rest properly okay so now you need to fix the battery make sure you fix the battery terminal first before you put the battery down so you don't lose the position of the battery because there's a space down here always if you put the battery first you lose the position for the connector so make sure you fix the connector first from here then you put the battery inside okay you see there's a space here if you push the battery down then the connector cannot fix any more to the motherboard so make sure you fix this one first before you put the battery down okay so after you finish you just put the back cover Make sure there's a clip here. Make sure this clip is rest properly like this. Very nice. Okay. Then you replace all the screws. You take out back from the back here. So many screws. Make sure you replace all the screws. Okay. Don't leave any screw behind. It's very, very important so that the cover can close properly. Okay. Okay. After you replace all the screw back of the phone. Okay. Now you fix the fingerprint. Make sure it fits it very nice like this. Okay, now you put the glue right around the phone. Just put it right around. Don't put it on top of the screw. Okay, just put it right around the phone like this at the edge of the phone. Make sure you put it very nice. Put it right around. Okay. After you put the glue right around the phone like this, okay, now you put the back cover. Make sure you push it very straight. Don't bend it. Make sure you put it very straight like this. Okay, make sure it's very, very straight like this. Okay. If you have a rubber like this, you can use it at least for 30 minutes so the glue become dry before you take it out. If you don't have a rubber like you can see it's slow tip just to make the glue dry a bit so that the cover can rest before you remove it. You put down here also. 
Okay, then you put this side also at the top here. Okay, after you change the battery, everything you have to put the phone on charge. You make sure you charge your phone full charge before you use the, the, the phone so you don't spoil the battery inside because the battery comes with voltage, but you don't need to use that voltage. Make sure you put it on charge for full charge before you use the phone so you don't spoil the battery. Okay, because it's new battery. Put on charge. Now you can see the logo, the charging logo. We show you that the battery is okay. Everything is good. You see the battery is increasing. Everything is okay. I mean, it's okay. Hello, guys. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.